Welcome back, everybody. This is the Screen Crusaders. With me is JT and Reeps, and we are going to be doing a spoiler cut of the Snyder Cut. So let's just get right into it. Yeah, and with it, spoilers, we're just going to like just a brief rundown of some of our favorite scenes. Yep, yep. This is a spoiler. If you want to listen to the spoiler-free version, we actually have one set up, and that's going to be our primary one. But if you've seen the movie, welcome, and we'll just jump right into it. So let's start... Uh, with you, JT, let's go ahead and see what, um, if you want to go down through parts, go for it, or yeah. just start mm -hmm. with your favorite mm -hmm. scenes, something like that. Cool. So I'll, I will go break down through parts. Um, so the first part is basically like the introduction of everything. Um, again, like there's a major battle scene in the first part with the Amazon's battle, mm -hmm. Stephen Wolf. Incredible. Like. Legit, like yes, Stephen Wolf, yes, like yes, yes. beats the crap out of everybody, and he takes the first mother box, and everything. And you know, we finally see like Martha moving and foreclosing the house because she can't afford it anymore. Well, I'm gonna go in and jump in as far as um, the um, you mentioned the Amazonian thing. You made it sound like the original cut, though. In this cut, what I liked about it is the fact that it wasn't like the original in terms that. Both parties, both Steppenwolf and the Amazonians, felt like they were having a hard time. Like Steppenwolf didn't just zoom in, grab There's the box, so, and beat up a couple. Like so like, much more weight to it. He yeah. he had it a was, lot harder. Battle. He had a lot harder time oh, getting yes. that box than he did in the original cut. And the Amazonians had a lot harder time fending him off. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, it ended the same. But it, I like that they the that extended version did help a lot in terms of making him feel like a true villain oh, like yeah. he like he's one one bad guy no yes yeah. yes so yeah that was that opening scene was like my absolute favorite part of that movie i just adored that scene and like i was i was telling you before like i've always wanted to see just 300 both amazonians in it. Mm -hmm. and that's what it was like that's exactly what it was and those are some Whoa, big ladies got, oh, i yeah. got goosebumps from it because this is how epic it mm -hmm. was and again like I just can't believe they scrapped that out. I, I can't believe it. Like, why didn't you think like that was passable? Like, no, and right. it was gone. But yeah, it's just the struggle that goes into it. It's way more epic. And, you know, and these soldiers are like risking everything just to get that mother box out of there. And you just feel it. Like you feel the panic. You, you feel the rush. They're just like, you know, they're hauling. Like just trying to get, get that out of there. And Steppenwolf Wolf is just always behind it. And he's yeah. brutal. Just like, He's flinging he's everyone here man. and there. He's killing everybody. Yeah, he was like flinging horses. He's like cutting Amazonians like in half, and it, like it actually shows like a lot of blood. And that's the thing because uh, this cut actually has like a fair amount of you know bloody scenes. I would say mm -hmm. nothing like too like gory, gory, but yeah, yeah no, it, it was a good balance. It, yeah. it, it didn't quite reach the unnecessary level. Like it could have worked without the blood, but it did add a little bit of a extra layer to the mm -hmm. like you said the brutality that yeah, the brutality that makes it feel it. more like oh crap, we need to we need to protect and this. You box. feel that it's just like oh crap, like Steppenwolf is like here, and but yeah, it's it really is three hundred with Amazonians in it. And here's the thing, because like <coughs> I know I know like people nowadays like. Like they make they make a big fuss yeah. about like oh there's not enough you know strong female characters in movies anymore. That opening scene, what more do you need from that? Yeah, that's what true. more do you need? I, I would actually not mind if there's more of that. Yeah. Like that's just oh it's just so amazing. Like I get goosebumps like when they all yell like when she's like Amazonians like show them your fear. We have no fear. And I was like yes. Yeah. That's you got what you I pumped. Wanted. That got me pumped. Yeah, I was standing up. So what about part two? Did you guys? Uh, oh, what did I, you guys? Think? I enjoyed part two. Actually, I think part two and part five was like my favorite parts because part two explained like the whole movie in like forty five minutes in terms of like <laughs> Diana going to the shrine, she, seeing you know the storyboard of like Dark Side is coming, yeah, the paintings, okay. yeah, and everything. I call BS on the fact that. Just because you're Wonder Woman doesn't mean your heels are Wonder Woman. She fell from oh, like yeah. the top of that, and then her heels were fine, and she's just walking down the steps. I'm like, oh, okay, where, where, where heels those heels would have been yeah. crushed. 
She's she's Tomb Raider at that point. No, right. Yeah, but like I mean, it was realistic when Barry Allen his shoes oh, exploded. Yeah. So I expect. Yeah, his shoes. Exploded. I feel like her shoes would have blown up too. <laughs> but anyways, back to part two. What did you guys think of that big old scene though? That that dark side. I was gonna battle. say yeah. I was gonna say yeah. dark side. Dark side versus the gods. Yeah. Like the it gods. Like incredible. Zeus. Zeus Ares. was a beefcake, man. Yeah, yeah, he's that's goals. That's bodybuilding goals. <laughs> I want to get that. I want to get to that point. That That's dude gonna take years. Jacked. Yeah, he's jacked. I mean, like everybody come together. Man, the Amazonians, the lanterns. The, yeah, the Green Lantern. And the lanterns. Like surprise, surprise. And he you actually killed. got to see Dark Side do stuff. Yes. Oh. Okay, yeah, Dark Side. You feel his presence every time he's on there. It's just like, oh crap! Like this is the master. And you see it like like when uh, Steppenwolf was talking to him. You see the fear in his eyes yes. when he's talking to him. Although, do you guys think that he he got taken out kind of easily? Well, in the that thing scene? is, uh, David was telling me that he was actually young. Okay, in that, so it was it was before part. he became full blown yeah, dark side, became, right? Because his eyes weren't even glowing like at that point. Now, yeah. like they go permanently. Yeah, that's when he was uh, younger. Was that's the same baby. He he was he was like he was still powerful, but I'm like, oh no, yeah, he was he still took, really powerful. He took one hit and he became a little bitch. He was like, yeah. oh no, he brutally killed Green Lantern. Oh, that's yeah. that's one thing I was yeah, gonna mention. Slides the hand off, and then the ring's flying. He tries to get oh, it, but he gets shot. I'm, like I'm just sorry. Slams that, that uh, spear in him, just stabs him right there. But, that's what I was gonna say. That's the one part of that scene I hated, just because they always do my boys the Green Lanterns Mar- dirty. Mar- Marty and I are, are, are Green Lantern fans. Yeah. Oh, I was gonna say. So uh, it's so hard to do space cops though. Even to, Marvel. Even Marvel does that. Bit, but what do you think about uh, Kilowog dead? Same deal. Same done deal. dirty. <laughs> done dirty. It's like Novas. <laughs> Novas and it. Green Lanterns. It's like space cops that could be cool. They always get shafted in either DC or Marvel. It seems like they they just. Oh, we got these characters. No, let's just no. give them the let's they're, give them the boot. They're there, Screw they're these coming. guys. They're, they're, just give Hopefully, them a bit. They, they they're coming. I've been waiting like ten years <laughs> for DC and like fourteen years for Marvel. We were we were saying that yeah. like our dream cast our dream cast were like a Green Lantern Court. We, we would be uh, Matthew McConaughey as Hal Jordan, uh, Idris, Idris Elba, Elba as John, John Stewart, and uh, Joseph Gordon Levitt as uh, uh, Kyle, Kyle Renner. Renner. Yeah. Yep. Ooh. That I'd watch that. I'd. Warner Brothers. All star cast. I know you're probably not listening, but get your head out of your ass and make it happen. Yeah, that's Dude, true. And also, like, and also for for part two, like my best part, the, the my favorite scene about part two is when uh, St- Steppenwolf goes to Moscow. He put the mother box in where like the statue, you mm-hmm. know, like, the abandoned thing. Oh, it was glorious! Like seeing like stuff coming out of it and the whole dome and everything. It was like. Dude, this is serious. Like he's him building, talking to the yeah. sod. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay, real quick, the flash forward a bit. Later yeah. on in the movie, Steppenwolf. Is it just me, or did his eyes get bigger? And right before they turn blue, he looked like a damn cat. He looked like my cat looks at me when he sees <laughs> oh, a treat. Yeah, yeah. He, he no, he's get like these big <laughs> eye pupils, and I'm like, that that just looks like Charlie when he wants to nah, me to feed him. <laughs> He's just doing like the puppy dog eyes because yeah, he doesn't he, want dark side. But yeah. he, he look. I was like, wait a second. Why does his eyes all of a sudden look like, like a like a cat? No, what I was saying before because that actually adds to the point where it's like you see like the humanity like oh, a little yeah. bit in his eyes, and I like that. That was a nice touch. To um, well, we'll around. go to part three real quick though. Yeah. In part three, I noticed um, was in the original cut that they have that little robot thing that goes on people's faces. No, no, that wasn't no, there at all. Is oh, it yeah, just me? Is that Star with Steppenwolf yes, just like beating like all I, the I feel like because as soon as I saw that, I'm like, that looks like a reference to Starro. Yes, it, it could was. be. Yeah, yeah, because it, it looked be. like a a starfish, yeah, a starfish on people's face. You know what it reminded me of? And I was telling I was telling David this, but do you remember in Transformers two that mm-hmm. little spider thing oh, that yeah, like yeah. It's like we must have their brain, and it like projects its thoughts. It was like the same thing. I'm like oh. Yeah, it, it, it kind of was now that I think about <laughs> chop, chop. it. But yeah, no, I thought that was a Starro reference, and I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Well, it this could is be, crazy because yeah. I'm, if I remember correctly, in the first Justice League, uh, comic books or one of the very first few, they actually fight Starro, mm-hmm. um, who I believe takes control maybe of Superman and a couple of the other League yeah. members, and they have to kind of fight each other because they're mind control. Every time um, I think Starro, I think of the Robot Chicken uh, episode with him in it. <laughs> 
yeah, As every time we think Star Wars, just just think of that. Yeah, and also at another battle scene, you know, like Stagmore battling in Atlantis, that was a that was a cool scene. Mm-hmm. You know, him battling in the water and Mirror got choked out by yeah. Stephen Wolf, man. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. And then Cyborg in this part, in part three, it was when we see his backstory, yes. wasn't it? Yeah, his backstory. Yeah, that was, his that was backstory great. backstory was great. It was just so like amazingly done. Seeing like, okay, like the part where he's helping that lady. Yeah. And like he gives her like all, all that cash. It's like, where was that? Mm-hmm. Why it did shows, you cut that out? It shows that even though he's brooding and such like that, he still... He still has humanity to and him. And like He's the, still the connection with him and his father, it, and him like explaining all of his powers, like, <coughs> like n- you can hack into anything, and no one will tap into you, or you can have you know manipulation and total control over major banks, and you can't get tracked. For Although that, that lady is gonna get a, a knock from the IRS and be like, "Hey, where you get this one hundred? FBI, open up! Yeah, open up! You're embezzling money." But but it wasn't you know, like she won like the Gotham. Uh, yeah, no, yeah. 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 I just thought pa- it was uh, Powerball, yeah. Because at first I'm like, wait, wait, you can't just put money in her account. The IRS are going to show up. She's going to do 20 years to life in federal prison. <laughs> but then they showed that that he hacked it to say yeah, like, yeah. oh, you yeah. want this. And also, and also another thing about part three is that the mother box was important in, in creating Cyborg. And that's why he was able to connect He's with it. He's part of it. It gave yeah. him a Down, purpose. Yeah. It, it, it gave him not just I'm here because I'm a superhero. It gave him the ability to be like, hey, oh, yeah. I understand this technology or this technology is trying to come to uh-huh. me. These mo- mother boxes are yeah. what gave made me. So if anyone could do something, it's most likely me. Well, also, th- you see his life before all of that. Like like him playing football, the connection with his mom, that he's brilliant. And that uh, his father like never like spent the time like, to, to go see him. Yeah. And stuff, the accident. Him uh, cut in half there and his father like working on him. It's just like... Where was that? Why did you cut all of that out? Yeah. And I know there's a whole drama between um, Ray Fisher and all that and Warner Brothers. Oh, yeah. And yeah. I feel like he should have led with that. Like, I understand why he's mm-hmm. so angry now because they they done him dirty in terms yeah, of did. like... They did, yeah. Like, his character had nothing to do in, nothing. in, in, nothing the, to do. in the Joss and, Whedon and version. And he's the one who does the so most much. work. He pulls mm-hmm. all the weight. And at, uh, I was going to say, so... Yeah, go ahead. When uh, when they get the mother box and are trying to revive Superman, and Flash needs to do that charge right as it hits the water, and uh, uh, Cyborg is hacking into the ship, and he gets that vision. Yes. What y'all thought of that? Because that was just amazing, and that's what what the storyboards were saying. That's basically Justice League two and three. That like that uh, Wonder Woman and Aquaman, they get killed, and Superman ends up getting mind controlled by Dark Side after Lois gets zapped yes and he's holding like her her, her skeleton yeah, her skeleton. A- her ashes there dude and then, crazy uh, to see. batman making his regime that would have been crazy i'm glad that they show that because like i was just like okay yeah i want to see this and i was actually worried that like okay maybe they might not show it this one but no they did i mean they had to yeah and i was just like it was just yep. a tease though yeah, man no, they're, they're teasing us to something and that that's might what i wanted because i just want more i want more of that i want so much you know, I, I love that world. All right. Uh, well, we'll move on to part four real quick. Um, what did you guys think of that? Because that was when they infiltrated that one place uh, where they were holding the up the star. Yeah, the harbor. Mm-hmm. Um, I will start off by saying I actually laughed when they made it to that place because I never thought I would see them. But the superheroes were taking the damn stairs. Did you realize they were oh, just yeah, like walking yeah, up? Just like, walking up the stairs. Yeah, I'm like, really? Batman could use his grappling hook. Wonder Woman could jump. <laughs> Flash could just like run Flash up. Flash could run up fast and Cyborg could fly. So why are they like single filedly like This is more epic. It has to go with the music. Dun, it wasn't dun, even going though. Like, they were just like they were just like in these big clunky suits. Can you imagine if they got tired, they're just like <laughs> Yeah, and they were just like oh, just one one again almost single filed i'm like what's going on why are they why are they wasting time <laughs> they're trying to they're trying to uh think of one-liners or something <laughs> well they had to be stealthy you know they couldn't just break in there so yeah, but I mean, it was in the other room i feel like clink 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 of the the stepping would Metal be a boots. lot more <laughs> would be a lot more than just one whoosh, yeah um, but I had to get that out of the way because it made me laugh i was like that's funny though i yeah. never i never thought i would see something like that but um, uh I felt like Batman had a lot more to do in oh, that yes. fight. Ooh. He he this whole movie he wasn't just getting Alfred, his ass kicked. Alfred was way more yeah. helpful and he had a little more heart. 
Mm-hmm. Because like in BVS, he's kind of just he's just tired of like Batman stuff. He's just so tired of it. But in this one, like he's actually helping out. You know, he's smiling more. Like he's he's trying to connect more with them, and it is good to see that. And Jer- mm-hmm. I love Jeremy Irons. Yeah, and, and also we used to pick up what you said, Alfred like enjoyed Bruce having friends for mm-hmm. a change, you know, because he had a all smile on his face and Alfred was like, Hey, well, it's uh, like, he like, if I can get some tea for you guys. And B- Batman was like, uh, I don't think they drink tea, I guess. <laughs> well, he, it's like, he loved seeing like what he, what he sought out to do. Like oh, yeah. he, he actually did it. And I think that's why Alfred, you know, lightened up a whole lot more. Yeah. But also the point thing about part four is when Stephen Wolf sees the vision of like the anti-life equation, Mm-hmm. Yes, on Earth, yes. and you know that's when Dark Side came out, and he was like, "Got a Dark Side? Um, the anti life equation is here on Earth." And you feel like, it, like the weight of that. It's just like, Ugh. what's what he's been looking for? Yeah, mm-hmm. but, also, but uh, his another voice thing that, was so good too. Another thing that happened in Part Four though was, I'm gonna save it a bit later, because um, I know me and Reeps have talked about this a little bit, but. Martian Manhunter. They introduced him. Yes. Yeah. We got our first look at him. He looked pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, again, mm. wonky CGI, but that was due to Snyder being on a limited budget. It's his CGI. His CGI is a, is a bit weird. Like, and the thing is, it's just. But what did you think of the design, though? Of the overall design, uh, like the the look of it, other than the textures and such like that. Like, I, don't, I don't even think I like the design all you that like much. It? Yeah, I just I wasn't a big fan of it. And here's the thing: like, I like Martian Manhunter, but you know. It would have been cooler to see Green Lantern, mm-hmm. you know, and that's that's the thing because in the storyboards it was actually supposed to be Green Lantern instead of uh, Martian Manhunter. Yeah, but we'll get to that one because that's actually at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah we'll, get, we'll get to that. I, I don't think this part would have been Martian Man or Green Lantern because Green Lantern can't shapeshift. So um, it was really weird though to have him be like, "Oh, let me turn into Martha Kent." Yeah, it's and the middle scene that that he has. That yeah, he like, turns into Martha Kent. It made no sense to me, especially then, like, Martha, why was he like, the world needs you, Lois. It's like, what, what, what is she going to do? But it, like when he said that, when he said that, he turned it back into the general guy. And it's like, did Lois not hear that? It's like, wait, what? General, you're here? Well, what were we saying that he was going to be turning it to that and Lois Lane is, is going to be like, Oh hey Martha, you forgot your purse, and she was gonna be like, "Don't look at me." <laughs> Turn like, around. Oh, don't don't look at me. Oh oh shit. And oh, it's like, what if? Uh, <laughs> why did you say that name? <laughs> Martha, real Martha, <laughs> walks in, and she's like, "Oh hey Martha, why did you say that name?" <laughs> and also another thing about Part Four that that is a great de- because I I love all about the details of this movie, and also Part Four, it it gave a great. Um, description of what the mother boxes can do yeah, and what why Dark Side do. really wants them be mm-hmm. united because it ranged particles. It makes a lot more sense. Yeah. All right. Well, then we'll go Doesn't into matter. part wait, 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 five. Back with that Martha scene. It's just like what it... Because Martha walked in shortly after that. And I felt like Lois would have been like, wait, if if you're Martha and the other one was here, then what? <laughs> 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 Either that or she would have been like, ah, <laughs> that, wrong button, wrong button. I was going to do the Maguire scream. I was going to do the Maguire scream. Uh, that that, that would have been funny too. Yeah, I yeah. would have been like, Lois would have been like. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, back to uh, going on to part five. That's when they brought Superman back, right? Yes. Which his entrance was so much yes, more impactful. It was so much more impactful. And like I like that they tied it back to Man of Steel, that he's in the ship and like you hear Jorel talking to him, you hear his dad talking to him. And is and just the, hey, uh, Jonathan Kent and the cues though, the cues, the cues. back to the the music just like mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't know why, but when he when he kneels down and the rocks start floating yeah. around him and he looks up and he just launches, yep. One of my points that I wrote down was Man of Steel's music equals beautiful. It does. That, so far, that has been my favorite soundtrack to the whole DCU. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I don't know. It just, whenever I hear his theme and he's getting ready to fly in something, I just feel like uh, inspiration. It feels so good. His theme when he's uh, when he's just beating the crud out of uh, Steppenwolf, like when the drums are hitting and it's just like, <laughs> yes. Yep. No, yeah, that's what I was. Um, but before that happens... Um, we talked about a little bit of the nightmare scene that Cyborg yep, saw. Yes, yep. The only thing I wondered is um, that I wrote down is, 
as much as I like the scene, why did it happen? Why why did Cyborg see that scene? Be- I think it's because well he's he he is part of the mother box. But why would the mother boxes see that? I think I think it worked with the ship because the ship was telling him like don't do this don't do this this is irreversible and I think the ship kind of had like a, a sense into what could happen and I think it, that was working in, t- in like in tandem with the, the mother box technology inside of inside of him so okay. maybe that's what gave him that yeah vision. they weren't maybe. very clear on that though that's the only right. reason that I was like wait why why are we as much as I enjoyed those scenes why are we watching I see your point because. Yeah. I could see why Batman had him because still cool, but yeah. I could see why Batman had him because he originally got woken up and had the yeah. nightmare scenes when mm-hmm. Flash came to him. So I yeah, feel like yeah. the speed force from that timeline was coming and kind of implanting into his brain. So mm-hmm. I didn't see why Cyborg would see it through the mother box. So I yeah, was like, yeah. they never explained that the mother box could kind of see into the future. So yeah. I was just wondering, but I didn't really mind because it was a mm-hmm. cool scene. Yeah, and also <laughs> yeah. Uh, another. S- Another part about that scene in the in the Kryptonian ship, like the Flash Speed Force, man, that was yes. that, that was a really cool him scene of him like Force. going through time and touching the mother box just before it it reaches the water. And like, here's the thing, like the Justice League dies technically twice because when he's trying to get when he's trying to separate the mother boxes and then the portal where uh, Dark Side and his uh, army are looking at them and they're about to just walk through yeah. uh, there's a big explosion and they all die because yeah. when flash goes back through the speed force and reverses it you see their uh their blood and their muscles and their skeleton everything their coming back coming yeah. back it's like oh wow they actually died in that explosion well let's go back to part five though um oh and that and that's what i was saying like uh, he's an mvp because of that oh, because yeah. they yeah. showed it yeah and i like how they did the speed mm-hmm. force what is that i think that's the oven Oh, okay. I was under. Uh, sorry, audience. It, there was a weird beep, and it just. I thought it was a computer or something. Good night. <laughs> but um, no, I, I I do agree with the point you said earlier, Reeps, about the um, the way Superman was brought back. It was a lot cooler. Yeah. And a lot suit, more yeah. um, just when he was fighting them and stuff like that, it mm-hmm. felt a bit different, and it was when a he's lot just cooler. Punching like Steppenwolf down there, he slices his horn off. And he's just like wailing on him right they there did, on the floor. They did more justice to Superman. Yeah. Yep, yep. Yeah, no, that that was really cool. Mm-hmm. Oh, I guess that was when the big the big battle happened, right? No, in part yeah, they, it, that's in part six. Oh, I guess I never wrote down a part six. I guess I was too I was too into the moment <laughs> yeah. and um, stopped writing because I was well, uh, too busy so watching. Nice, what do y'all thought of uh, Flash's first scene? Like when well, it actually shows like hit, like him like like time slowing down and oh, he's yeah, saving was, Iris. That, that was which, awesome. That was a, all because of a burger. <laughs> yep. No, it, uh, I mean, Jeez. same same stuff happens in Resident Evil 2, The game, the remake. <laughs> it starts off with the burger and it goes downhill from there. But um, <laughs> just mowing down. I felt like Ezra like Miller was was personally annoying in that, but the actual Flash, Flash scene so, when he's yeah. saving her and stuff like that was pretty cool. I like that he was trying to get the job, and at the end he's like. He's like, I start on Monday, right? <laughs> yeah, no, but like I said, some of his stuff worked. I like the song. Like, I during, still, yeah. during that I still scene. found him a little bit annoying. But I like how he saved uh, Iris. Like how careful he was, and he gets the hot dog. Like puts it in his pocket, and, and, and I like that I they address like that. that the friction causes his shoes to. Yeah, 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 that, yeah, was, yeah. that was a really awesome part too. But overall, like the final battle in Part Six was just memorizing. Mm-hmm. Like no stupid red sky, no, like how it was nope. in the theatrical cut. Everybody played a part, just yep, like everyone Morty did, said, and mm. everybody had a time to shine against Stanford Wolf and this Parademons, like, which was fantastic. Cyborg and Flash, they were essential to it. They Flash were, yeah. was a charge. Cyborg was like prepping everything. Mm-hmm. Um, Superman was there to help them out because mm-hmm. they were getting their butt kicked by Steppenwolf. Aquaman was the one that kind of didn't have too much to do, and Wonder Woman was just well, kind of the second he did tank. The final blow. Yeah, and yeah, but I'm saying like right through him and hoisted him up like Vla- Vlad the Impaler style. Like, uh, what's it called? If he wasn't there, they probably still would have been able to save the day. Yeah. Um, just with Superman and the other guys, but even Batman, he I was, was over say, there. Wonder Woman cuts his head off. Even Batman was kicking ass. Oh yeah, he yeah, was. he was. blasting people up and, and taking care of the um, the other defenses so that the main heroes could could fight. When Flash gets hurt, I thought that was it. I thought like oh. they were actually gonna lose. This time around, and and then it's gonna leave us like leave us with a cliffhanger with the nightmare scene. That's what I thought was gonna happen. But then you know, as we said, uh, Flash goes through the speed force. But I thought they were really gonna that lose that part. Though. And you feel it because like Batman's like, oh no, and like 
but that part though with the speed force, I like the visuals they had on oh, yes. oh, stunning, and stunning. That's yeah. what I'm saying. When Ezra Miller was the Flash, I actually liked him. Mm-hmm. I I liked the little monologue he was doing while he was going through the yeah, speed uh, force. You got to break your rule. You got to break your rule. Yeah. And just trying to make his dad proud and such like that. It was a thing, really just, impactful. He moment. knows what he's doing. He's not a klutz anymore. Like he knows. What he's doing, he's capable of this. Mm-hmm. He knows what he's capable, of, and he had yeah. that rule because he probably knows that there's ramifications exactly. for that. Yeah, exactly. And also, on uh, that close, like in the end the movie with the final battle scene in the portal where Dark Side is, the portal closes and Darks and like the side says, "How are we going to get down to Earth?" And Dark Side is brooding voice, "We're going to do it in the old ways." And I'm like, "Oh yeah." Let's get that done. Dude, Dude, that that was was, it's just, I want to see more of that. that was like, every time he's on screen, I'm just fixated on him. Like, but yeah. when he opened that portal and they were getting ready to come out, I was like, oh, man, they're in trouble now. They were going to walk in. They were yeah. going to walk in. They were in tr- But I was also wondering, though, what he was doing. Was he just like standing there and just like, okay, I'll let him fight and then I'll walk in? Because the portal was open for like a good like five minutes and he was just staring at it. This side's like... <laughs> Lord Darkseid, what should we do? Just, 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 just give him a minute. Assert your dominance. <laughs> yeah, we, we got to make a more dramatic entrance. Yeah, but how his about, eyes, his eyes are. It, that's what that's what does it. Yeah, but how it, about the, uh, the redemption cool. of Steppenwolf, man? I feel like, like I said before in the first podcast of the non-spoiler review, like his redemption arc. Man, I feel sorry for the guy. Yeah, you find out that like he betrayed them a long time ago, and he knows that it was a mistake yeah. for him, and he's doing all of this just to be back at his side. And even like decides that like you like this isn't an easy way out. You owe him like fifty thousand worlds before you can five hundred thousand. Yeah, yeah five hundred thousand worlds. Now, yeah. it, it, but you could tell he's like, I regret my actions. Please, yeah. I I you just want to go eyes. home. Like that's that's the one. It, it was just one simple line too that could have been in the original cut Ex- that I was exactly. like exactly. And they scrapped that out. Because when he showed up in the other one, he had... I, I was like, why is he doing this? Is it mm-hmm. just because he's bad? Even then, it's like... It was just random. It was random, yeah. forced. Mm-hmm. We need to come together to fight this random dude that's coming here and beating people up. Yeah, yeah. And this one, it's like, well, now we know why he's at on Earth. Why he's doing this. Why? It, it, there's a lot of explanations just within that one line alone. I don't mm-hmm. know why they would cut that off. I know. But... I know. I've, no idea. If we move on to the epilogue, yeah. so that's... Uh, yes, I really want to talk about it. That's the last thing I really yeah. want to talk about. But before we get to the the main part, because I, I have a feeling I know where you're going to go. Mm-hmm. Um, I wrote down that I like these characters during the epilogue um, because at the end, they they felt like the Justice League. They felt like they give you a little bit of hope. Kind of They deserve like, that, that, yeah. that moment oh, yeah. in the sun. Yeah, they, yeah. they deserve that. That's what that. I'm saying. They, it felt like something like... A similar feeling I got when I was watching like the Avengers or something yeah, like that. Yeah. Like these are the heroes that I grew up reading. It's earned. It's earned this time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so do you is. guys agree that the yes, the characters? Yeah. Um, it was dark movie, but even then, that moment of light. There's it, hope. Yeah, it, it felt like this. This team could work. This yes, is from, yes, yes. I want to come back and there join one. these guys yeah. again. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, I'll let you take over from here, Reeps, because I, I have a feeling I know where you're gonna go because yes, that blog yes, was yes, one yes. of the. Parts mm-hmm. that kind of eh, me too. Oh no no, you're going for the good one, not yeah, the Martian Manhunter. No no, I'm going okay. For the let's good go with Martian one. Manhunter because we said that he shows up earlier, and this is where he felt even more force for me. Wouldn't you agree? I just would have, I would have liked it so much better if that was the first time we saw him, just at the very end, because that would have been like, okay, I, I get it, it's, you know, like. Yeah, but don't you think it was forced though? Like he just shows up and he's again, like, like hey. I like him, but I would have rather seen Green Lantern. Yeah, I, I personally, me too. But even if they showed Green Lantern, I feel like it would have been forced. It's just and the thing is, like, I like his voice. Like the, uh, I want to see more from uh, that actor. But uh, yeah, I don't like the design for him. It just looks so weird. It looks so weird. It, it is, and and that's the only, like, that's the only moment for me when when I say like the CGI was kind of like <laughs> not in that. But. Mm-hmm. but would you agree with me, JT, though, that it felt forced? Like, they yeah. could have saved him for the next movie or something? Because yeah, he I, just kind of showed up, and he was like, Yo, Bruce Wayne, my name's Martian Manhunter. I like that you're putting a team together. I want in. Goodbye. And then he's like, deuces. Well, he was like, all jokes aside, like he was kind of like basically saying, like, these things will happen. Like, Darkseid will come back, and mm-hmm. you will not be ready for this. That's basically what he was saying. But, like... 
stay with the team, get more, so that way you can stand a chance. Yeah, but don't you him. feel like it was just like but yeah, it's just, last moment thing? Wouldn't you? Or what oh, yeah. would you feel, JT? I mean, it's the way they went about it. Well, let's I mean, let yeah, JT go. Yeah, so I, I mean, this was after like the nightmare scene, and you know, Martian Manhunter came out of nowhere. But I thought his CGI was a little bit wonky. Um, I, I, I kind of get it as to why he showed up as Martha to bring like Lois back to the fold because you know she was needed to bring Superman back into reality by visiting Smallville, looking at all these pictures and whatnot. But I have to agree with you guys. Like, it felt out of place to mm-hmm. me. But I, I kind of do get of Martian Ma- Martian Manhunter was there to kind of, hey, if you guys need me to defeat Dark Side down the road, I am always here for you guys. So okay. I thought but that was yeah. Do you think he should have been in this movie or like the next movie? Like they should have saved that for next or maybe the next movie. I, I would say like to next, make it a yeah. surprise for mm-hmm. us as fans. Well, he was just a spectator in all of this. Mm-hmm. That's the thing. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I would have been okay with little teases here and there. Like, you saw the general in the mm-hmm. background in this, and then you're like, oh, man, the general was Martian Manhunter. Granted, we knew going in, but it would have been nice to see him kind of implement them before they I put him below. It's like, wait, Martha, if you were here, and if the other one was there, then... <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's... JT, do you agree we should just let... Uh, Reaps, go ahead and Reaps, uh, go, go for on. It. We should just all go on the nightmare. Because well, we'll let, we'll let you start. So yeah, big, big part about this, the actual final nightmare scene. That's what I wanted to see. I think that's like the most anticipated thing I wanted to see from the whole movie. Because I, and I was saying like when I was in, okay, like yeah, this is amazing, but like where's the nightmare scene? Like I want to see it. Come on, this can't too. be it. This can't be it. I thought they were gonna jip us. And then it it gets there. It gets to the epilogue. They were in the desert. And it's like it's Mad Max looking, and you see the fire around like the apocalypse and stuff. And then you see Batman come out with that trench coat and the goggles and guns. And uh and this time like Cyborg's there, Deathstroke is there, and he looks amazing. Oh, by the way, like you like how Deathstroke looks. Oh yeah, yeah, no, he, he looks like the Arkham boss. Origins. Yeah, he looks Deathstroke so, looks so, 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 so awesome. good. As a Deathstroke fan, I love the way he oh, looks. Oh yeah, it I was, was gonna say what you thought of uh uh, his first entrance when he breaks uh, Lex Luthor out. I mean, that was in the original Justice yeah, That was in the original. It was just extended. It, it was a lot better. better. Here, yeah. It felt yeah. better here. But I loved his costume, that orange mm-hmm. and black one. Ooh, I liked it a bit better great. than the Nightmare Scene version because it was dope. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, but it's now. still like, I loved how this character looks. I mm-hmm. wish we would get to see a He's Ben like Affleck a versus him. Now and, yeah, he just looks badass. Yeah, and then we see Flash in, his, uh, in that different suit. Uh, we see uh, Cyborg come out with more like guns on his shoulders, and uh, Mara, yeah, and Mara's still alive, and she's saying, uh, you know, we got to get Darkseid for what he did to Arthur. I'm gonna stick this like um, trident through him, and then Batman says, like, I know how you feel, and she says, well, how do, you? like, I know how it's like to lose a loved one, and he, and she says, like, who have you loved, you know, that you lost, and then we get, well, before uh, you get onto that hashtag recast Amber Heard. Yeah. <laughs> yes, please. Yep. But, <laughs> but she goes like, <laughs> what is she goes like? I'm so angry I could take a deuce on someone's bed right now. <laughs> I'm going to take a shit on uh, Dark Side's bed. What? No, moving on, let's go back to you were about to get to the main part, the Joker. <laughs> so, enter the Joker, Jared Leto's Joker. That cringy one that was from Suicide Squad, but that's nowhere to be found here because he Thank is. Thank God. He has a complete makeover, and he is great. And I already said, and I always said that Jared Leto is, ama- is an amazing actor, amazing actor. And I wanted, you know, I wanted to see him like as a Joker, but what he can do, what he's capable of. And we just got it, and it was a tease. We just got and a it glimpse, was a tease, a glimpse. It was just warming him up. But he sounded great. I loved his voice, his dialogue with Batman. Amazing. I just love. I always love Batman and Joker's dynamic, but here it just it shines. It's so, so good. And again, just a breath of fresh air to see that. And, and just like I, I know you were saying, like like he kind of sounds like a little like Heath Ledger and and stuff. He was trying to imitate a little, like he was combining he gets different growly, Joker. When he gets growly, it it sounds a little bit like it. But even then, like it's still his own thing. I and like, also, like if if it is Heath Ledgerish. I mean, I wanted to see more of Heath Ledger anyway. So. Well, I mean, I, I liked it more when he was doing his own stuff because he did get to a point where he was doing his own Joker. I'm your best and, friend. Like, yeah. I, I love when he said that little like twang he had. Like I, I love that portion more than when he was, I forgot what he said, but he did the whole... <laughs> that, uh, like, a father. 
Yeah. Yeah. That that and it sounded very uh, Heath Ledger. But, but I like that. I, what, I like that a lot, though. What did you think, JT? Though, did you like this this version of Joker, or were you okay with what they were going for with Suicide Squad, or do you prefer this? All right, so this is just a disclaimer. Nothing can beat Heath Ledger's Joker. That's like touched. Oh that, yeah, that yeah. that is like mm-hmm. in the in the National Museum somewhere. This of course, like, yeah, whatever. of course. But you know the banter between Batman and Joker in the Nightmare scene, I thought it was fantastic because Batman and Joker do have a history with each other, and I think Jerry Leto did actually a great job. And hopefully, we will get to see more of them kind of this banter in the Nightmare it's just, sequence. You, you buy it, like, yeah. And that just dialogue, so it was dark. It was, yes, it was dark, it was. and you can tell that Batman's just like at his limits. He's just like he just wants to strangle him right yep. there, and it's just he's trying to hold back. Because the reason why, because he killed Jason Todd. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. he's he's. He's got a lot of history with him, and none. And of I like how the, he said, like, like when it held Harley Quinn, and, and oh, she yeah. was dying in my arms. She my said, arm. she said, like, don't stop anything to kill you, and I will, like, effing kill you. He, like, he was like, he's like, I will fucking keep that promise, or no, I will fucking kill you. And it then was, you see him, like, you see Joker, like, like freeze up a bit, and then he just like goes back to it. He starts messing yeah. with him again. Like even Joker was like, oh man, this, yeah. this, I see it in this guy's eyes. Hey, dude, I love this look. But how about the like, how about the scene where like Suit Man comes into play and was like, oh boy, evil Suit Man is that bad, baby. Superman. <laughs> well, he's because the thing uh, when they when when they show the vision of uh, everyone dying and like when Superman's holding Lois, Darkseid puts his hand on him and you can kind of see like his eyes like glazing over a bit and yeah, he kind of has bit. like gets a different look i'm like okay is he, is he mind controlling him like right there that's what it looks like to me i don't know how you thought yeah, about yeah. it but that's what yeah. i yeah i think so I, you I, see I, his eyes can kind of get a little more focused i'm yeah. like there you go they're like All yeah right. so i really think that dark side uh controlled uh superman during that scene and then like in the nightmare scene he was just full-blown mind controlled so when we saw that when we, when we saw it a second time we oh, uh, we went back to the nightmare scene, and then when it was over, we went to BVS and fast forwarded to the nightmare scene there just to connect it, and like it just makes so much more sense now when you like put the two together. But unpopular opinion that's probably uh, again unpopular is I'm gonna go ahead and say it. Batflick is one of my favorite versions. Oh yeah, he's I, good. Yeah, he's a lot of people amazing. hate on him, but yeah, he could he could deliver his lines a bit better but i think he's a great actor i think oh, he's great he's, I agree. he's great people, again with the dialogue between him and joker yeah, that's i feel like given yeah. the script and such he's he's big he, he looks like batman he 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 fights like Batman. well that's what i'm saying because like with this nightmare scene everything is just so much more compelling and intense so, with every character yeah so given the right opportunities He's one of my favorite Batman. No, I agree with you. I, yeah. I yeah, actually I like him more than Christian Bale. Um, he has a better voice than Christian Bale. Uh, half of the, like, I like him better than Clooney. Uh, Kilmer. <laughs> of course, and, Clooney. Of course, um, more than Clooney. Even, I might even like him more than Keaton. Again, unpopular opinion, but I feel like, to me personally, he looks apart. He, given the right uh, ingredients, let's say, he could mm-hmm. actually do the part. Yeah, he has he the he has the chops, he has the looks, no, he has the build. Yeah. So that's, that's my the, unpopular. Opinion. And that's the thing that just gets me so like that because I just want to see more of this world. I want to see more of him and and Joker and it's just. Uh, but I actually, more than, I, I I kind of do agree that Ben Affleck is a great Batman, but I think Christian Bale is a great Bruce Wayne in terms of Nolan's universe within the mm-hmm. Batman friend you know, yeah, with, yeah. with this Batman I do love Christian universe. Bell they're just so different uh, yeah. I just feel like Christian Bell just doesn't look oh, like yeah. bulky yeah. like when I see him I see him and Nolan's Batman but in only Nolan's oh, Batman yeah. Yeah, yeah, I agree. when yeah, I, I see Batflick in that suit <laughs> I like see the, the Batman okay. I see yeah. yeah like you said the comic book Batman okay all right. And that's the thing, yeah. Is it is the comic book? It's it's the Dark Knight Returns, Batman. Yep. Cause like, yes, like there was big, even that big ass tank yeah, at yeah, the end. The big ass tank, the 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 fat bat. Yeah, yeah. The big uh, bat logo. Him, he he's just beefy already. Well, and like that gray suit. But yeah, um, just seeing just seeing him talk to Joker, and their dynamic. The way he looked, it was great too. I know, like we kind of joked around, is that Joker kind of looks like a Marilyn Manson 
Oh, uh, yeah. Cover. <laughs> I'm well, glad they didn't that, put the crown of thorns thing. Did you see I that promo like picture? Yeah. JT? He, didn't it look like it was like a metal band, like Marilyn Manson uh, photo out, uh, yeah. cover? Yeah. And I liked how the, the camera was going like in focus, out of focus, in focus, out of focus. Because that just added more to like the unhinged, you know, vibe going on. And just it, it's more intense. Well, but I, I, I thought it was great. I, I really want to see more of him. Yeah. And that's the thing with this. It's just hopefully it's not too late for all these. I don't know if like all these actors can really come back. I know Amber Heard can't. And I know Ray Fisher can't either. But no, Ray Fisher burned those bridges. Yeah, but, yeah, but now I, I see a little bit more. I just wish he would have led with this so he could have gotten the fans back but he was been been so ambiguous yeah. about what actually went down yeah. that it's just he burned those bridges before he got his actual voice out it, it yeah. sounded like empty threats mm -hmm. um and that's mm -hmm. what got him in the end but other yeah. than that um i think we covered pretty much everything yeah i think that's everything um, we we'll talk about yeah so I, I reaps jt i'm pretty sure you're on the same boat then that i we wish to see more nightmare yep. yes 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 i want, movie, I want yeah. to see more nightmare and hopefully like we said before hopefully wb learns mm -hmm. learns his lesson and bring us more movies like this well and, I, ho and hopefully hashtag restore the sign of verse yep really? that's, that's what i was about about trending to say. on yeah. twitter and instagram because we need Zack Snyder to come back and finish what he started. Yep. Please, That's what I was gonna say. Please, was, we need yeah, that. I was going to end this with that. I was going to say, give a shout out to Zack Snyder, to the mm -hmm. fans, yep. and just tell everybody, go spread ahead the and word, yeah. spread the word. Go, if you don't have an account, go get one. It, even if it, you're sharing it with a friend or something, go watch it so that they see that there's more numbers, like either new accounts or even old accounts that are watching it, and they see, hey, X amount of people saw it, so if we put this in theater, we'll make our money back. So Warner Brothers, keep an eye out. Hopefully we get to see more of this universe. Mm -hmm. But until then, let's go ahead and call it a night. Thank you guys again for listening. Thank yep. you, JT. Thank you, Reeps, for being here and uh, discussing the Snyder Cut spoilers oh, yeah. with me. Y'all have a fantastic mm -hmm. night.